Hello, I'm Sanaba. Hi, I'm Shiami. Um, I'm a wife to my husband uh, and I'm a mother of two boys named Moloko and Mordecai. Yeah, almost same thing except that I'm not the mother, I'm the father. And yeah, I am competitive uh, and I never lose. I just uh, let other children win sometimes <laughs> so that they can feel like, you know, they can play again. Yeah. And okay. Uh, I'm also competitive and I, I, I beat you uh, several times with, with, with games like Scrabble. As I said, I don't lose. I just let other kids win sometimes so that, you know, I can push their immune system or whatever <laughs> you want to call it or their self-image. So <laughs> she, she thinks that she, she, she beats me when I let her win. I've, I've always been part of a church that is predominantly black, so I really never, I wasn't exposed to other racial cultures. So when I visited his um, Rooted Fellowship, and now uh, Fellowship City, I was just in awe of their vision, and that is to see the world awaken to the wonder of God and his transcultural church. So I immediately just fell in love with the vision. I really want to be part of that. Um, uh, mainly because we are made, we are all made in God's image, regardless of race. And I really wanted to be part of a, a, a church that is pro reconciliation, uh, given uh, where we come from as a country. Uh, for me, uh, from Varsity, I was part of a yeah, we can call it a transcultural church, uh, where it included uh, different people from different backgrounds, different cultures, and different ethnicities. And since then. I have known no other church, uh, I've been part of no other church, but a church that embodies the fact that uh, we, we are one, that sometimes our differences are just skin deep at most. So being part of a transcultural church wasn't really a big uh, thing that one has to think about for me. It was just, okay, we are one, so let's, let's go, let's do this life thing together. So yeah. For me, that has been the reason why I have been and I would always be part of a church that doesn't uh, represent only one culture or one race, but that represent every culture, every race and every town. So we are called to love one another. Um, so being part of a transcultural church really gave me that opportunity to, to interact and to love people outside of my race, um, just to, to, to eat at their tables, um, to break bread together and for them to love me back. So that has been really transformational for me. Uh, well, for me, uh, being transcultural and being in an environment that it is not the same kind of environment that I grew up in. Uh, yeah, uh, I would say I became friends with people that I would ordinarily not be friends with. I started doing life with people that would normally not be in my circle. And in so doing, certain perspective and perceptions of uh, certain individuals or certain race were, were, were uprooted. And you get to realize and understand that there are certain things that we grew up uh, being told that are actually not uh, true and that uh, there are certain things also that you know you can be exposed to when you are in an environment where it is not only people of your own ethnicity so yeah your mind gets opened and you get to see certain things differently get to interact and view certain things in a manner that you ordinarily not have so when you are open uh, to being in different situations and different cultures then you get to understand and get to learn new cultures and things that you can adopt and things that you can uh, you know uproot from from where you come from yeah that's that and that is the Lee uh, Hongs signing out. Peace and love.